Although they expected the floods this year, residents say the water has reached the villages too fast considering the slow pace it took to rise. Communities in floodplains of Zambezi are using dugout canoes and boats as transportation. They have now packed their cars and make use of the canoes to get to other villages such as Nankuntwe and Muzi because the roads are submerged. Some have started moving their belongings from villages such as Odisiza to Vokalo and Siseme as the water is now moving faster than anticipated. We always fear losses as well as the fact that the place at which the animals are kept usually gets flooded as well. So we've decided that before the damage and loss happens, we should hurry and move from here. Meanwhile, a similar fate is what farmers in the Malengalenga are currently faced with from the damage brought by flood water in their fields. A number of maize fields in the area are already flooded, which the residents say is something they have not seen in five years. This water came in the day before yesterday. This is where we were hoping to live. But now we have no source of livelihood left. We are just planning to move back to the village because there's nothing we can do at this point, seeing as the water has now entered the field. He says at the rate at which the water is coming, the entire field and village across will be covered in water, adding that they are left with no option but to harvest the corn, which is not exactly ripe at the moment or big enough to yield some kind of profit. They ask for any assistance from government in order to cover their losses. Juliet Sveso, NBC News. Katima Malilom.